guys, Mr. Miller here. Back at it again with another video, and I wanted to show you that a trade I made on Friday. Um, I am holding all cash now until the weekend um, due to the election, and I have no idea what's going to happen. So holding all cash right now, but I just wanted to show you this short trade on Apple. I do trade Apple quite a bit, um, but it hasn't really been that great lately. It's been kind of hard to hard to pick at lately. But how I found this trade was uh, based around earnings, and I waited for the earnings report. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to the daily graph. And uh, if you see this dotted line as the parabolic SAR, it basically tells you when to get long and when to get short in a trade. And I don't solely base my trades off the parabolic SAR, but I do use them as entry points and exit points um, for my trades. And I'll get into that um, as I break this trade down. So as I was scanning through and I saw Apple on the uh, three month daily chart, you can do six month or whatever time frame you want. I just keep it on the daily as I break it down. And I go from the daily to the 60 minute and then to the 10 minute to actually enter the trade. So what I do is I saw this break below the cloud on earnings and I was waiting for uh, a drop below the cloud and I saw the futures the night before and they were negative and then the next morning they were also negative gave me a pretty good indication that Apple is going to be down for the day and although it pretty much beat earnings um, it seemed like people didn't really like their iPhone sales but how I did this is once I saw this break below the cloud a, a confirmation that the cloud is bearish because it is red and Apple is clearly in a downtrend broke below the cloud and now what I do is I go down to the three day 60 minute. I want to want to, I want to make sure that Apple in the 60 minute chart is still below the cloud and as you can see it was. You can see this gap down um, Friday and because of this gap down this morning I decided to enter into the short trade on Apple. Clearly have a bearish downtrend in Apple. Pretty solid trend. Nothing really too choppy. Um, and what you do is you go to the daily 10 minute and you want to make sure it's below the cloud on the 10 minute as well you can see as Apple on Friday opened up gap down below the cloud and I try to look for three candle confirmation one two three um, uh, so you could get in around this third candle but I waited for this red candle after it kind of did a little 20 minute jump here and the parabolic is confirming a bearish trend so when the parabolic SAR is above the price is bearish when it's below it is bullish so what I do when I enter this trade I make sure the parabolic is above the price because I'm short and I would exit the price when the parabolic flops and goes below the price indicating that the trend may be reversing and starting to get bullish I entered this trade around 110 right here at this red candle and I stayed in it um, I did kind of ignore this um, the parabolic SAR right here um, I wanted to ride it out to the end of the day because I believe it would drop a little bit further going into the weekend than it did and also there wasn't really any volume um, supporting the parabolic um, and I ended up getting out on this first parabolic flip right here at the end of the day and you can see here the increase in volume pretty much confirmed the parabolic SAR and tried to make a little short run at the end of the day but uh, I got out around 108 maybe a little, little higher 108.15 something like that I made about a two dollar drop um, on my options contract I think I made around a hundred bucks but um, go through it one more time so I'll do it as I go to the daily chart you have a break below the cloud you also have the turning line crossing the uh, confirmation line which is this red line so you don't have to know the technical technical names for them they're they're all Japanese terms and some people call them different things there's a bunch of different definitions but they work like they're not moving averages but they work like moving averages so one is fast and one is slow so whenever the fast line crosses below the slower line it is always bearish and it goes the opposite way as well so when the fast line breaks above the slow line as you can see right here it is bullish and you can see uh, the stock run up here 
So not only do we have a break below the cloud, we have this bearish crossover. And then we break it down to, I like to go to three days, 60 minute. Make sure it is below the cloud. If it's not below the cloud, you need to wait for it to break below the cloud. And then I would, on the day of the trade, I break it down and make sure that we're going to be under the cloud on the 10 minute. And I use a 10 minute to enter my trade. You can see on Friday, gapped down, confirming um, below the cloud. Parabolic is above the price. Viking line is also below the price, and you're pretty much safe to enter this trade. And there's two ways you can use um, stops. You can use this blue line as your stop, so once the stock breaks above the blue line, you can get out, or you can set your stop using the parabolic um, SAR either just give yourself a buffer a little bit of above it or you can wait until it flips to the bottom and goes bullish to exit the trade that's all i have for you i hope to help um we'll see what happens next week with the election and um, if you want to you can find me on facebook i have a private group it is called options trading club i'll post a picture um, at the end of this video you can come find us ask to join um, i post watch list and just kind of general stock stuff on there but uh, thanks again for watching another video of mine Hope to see you again. Please subscribe. We're almost to 100 subscribers. And uh, that's it.